Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. So I've just randomly decided that I'm going to vlog. So this is probably the start of um, a weekend vlog. So today is actually Friday. As you can see, back home from holiday now. Um, we've almost been home a week. Um, so yeah, just slowly getting back into our routine. Penny is actually asleep at the moment and Darcy and Ollie are at school. So I can't believe they actually break up for their summer break on Tuesday. And it's a half day, so I have to pick them up. I'll just take my AirPod out a minute. Um, yeah, I have to pick them up at one o'clock. So yeah, we're on countdown to some summer fun. But I wanted to hop on because um, I did a little bit of shopping in the Amazon Prime Day itself. So obviously I know that's past now, but I'm sure they have another one later in the year. So I just thought I would share with you um, what I bought. I didn't actually go on my Instagram. Usually last year I've done like a um like a guide like the best deals and things but i didn't do that just because i don't know i don't know how i obviously i know people take inspiration from people sharing things but i have seen there's like a few times i've thought it's just a bit much the things that are being shared and i'm very what well, sorry if you can hear all all of the um noise it's actually outside um and the, we've got like a really overgrown um like churchyard um they're actually about to knock the church down and build houses on it so um yeah it'd be sad to see that go but they're currently just if you can hear all of that i don't know if it's going to come off but if you wonder what that noise is they're cutting down like brambles overgrown grass etc um but yeah back to what i was saying i've just been a bit um uh just thinking do i need to share this because i have been influenced many a time as i'm sure lots and lots of you have um you've seen somebody share something and you've thought i know i need that but do we actually really need it and i'm trying to be really conscious with what i'm spending because we are about to start our loft um if you're new here you obviously won't be bored of me saying that but if you're not new here you probably are very bored of me saying that because i've been saying that for about the past year um but tom has assured me the scaffolding hopefully it's going to be up within the week so stay tuned for all of that exciting footage because yeah i am so excited for that but i did buy a few bits and pieces um i would class these as essential bits and pieces that i needed um i got a couple of christmas bits i can put away because i like to plan um in advance for christmas because it sneaks up on us so quickly um i'm gonna put you over here actually and then we can do an unboxing so i just figured um, the point of that really long introduction, I figured that I would show you what I picked up in the Amazon Day Prime sale. So I did buy, um, I'm probably going to get asked where this dress is from because I always get asked on my Instagram. I've got one in green as well. It's from Primark guys, but it is, um, I got it a couple of years ago. And would you believe it was £12? This is my staple in my wardrobe. I absolutely love it. Um, one thing that isn't here, sorry I'm out of breath now, <laughs> Um, is I bought a replacement rug for my front room. Um, when that comes, I'll show you, but I managed to get it for 46 pounds and some pence. Um, and usually it's about 80 odd pounds. So I was really, really impressed with that saving. I think that's due to be here next week. So I didn't get that on the next day. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna dive in this first box here. So let's see what we got. So I'm pretty sure everything is here. Oh, bar the rug. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you shopped on the sale, what you've got. Um, I'd love to know. I'd love to see what other people have got. So, first up, I got Mr. Clifford. Can you see him there in the background on the sofa? Honestly, he's just literally living his best life. I hope you can hear me okay because I feel like that's really loud. It might not be. Um, uh, obviously, I'll see when I watch his back. But first of all, I got him a bobble lot now i was going to get this for him when he was a puppy but it was my sister's got um a vizsla which is obviously similar similar size to clifford and um she looked after clifford when we went on holiday and she said he absolutely was obsessed with rex's bobble lot so i picked him up one i don't think this had any extra saving um this was 13 pounds um and some pence 
I'll link everything that I've shopped below. So if you're interested, you can just go to the description and have a look. Um, but yeah, you just put food in there. Um, it says it provides hours of mental stimulation and physical activity. And it has jaw chambers, dispense um, for treats and kibble. So I will actually pop his food in here. So what we do with Clifford, um, rather than just popping his food in a bowl, because he eats it so so fast um we at the moment we've got a slow feeder so it has like lots of different compartments in so he has to obviously find ways to get the food out um and yeah it just keeps his brain because it's really interesting they say that um like brain stimulation is actually the equivalent if not more than an outdoor walk um i not saying we don't take him out we obviously do take him out but because he's a lab he's obviously very on the go <laughs> um so yeah we like to stimulate him as much as possible so that was the first thing for mr clifford and oh that's heavy i'm sure that's going to be bashed into my skirting boards um next up i picked up a bedhead ego boost i've these last so long um so basically it's like a split end mender um leave-in conditioner so i pop this in all of our hair and we wash it um and i knew, noticed that my one was running low and it just came up on the front page and it was like four pounds something so i thought i would pick one of those up because like i said it does last for absolutely ages um next up this is one of the more expensive items that i bought so um we wanted to get um like a camera for outside like the outside of the perimeter of our house so we have the ring doorbell um but um there's been a few instances not with our property but just in the area that we live and i've been me i've been saying to Tom for months we need to get the camera we need to get the camera like with van break-ins that sort of thing car break-ins obviously home break-ins so i was going to get the ring because like i said we have the ring doorbell but they are so expensive even in the prime day sale it did have a good saving um but just for one for the front i think it was like 119 pounds with the little light thing um which it, it did have a good saving, but still I just thought, oh, I don't know if I want to spend that much money, especially with us coming up to do the loft. So I went with the Blink Outdoor um, system. It comes with two cameras and I got this for 77 pounds. Um, I think it's meant to be like 156. So it actually links to all the Alexa devices, obviously your phone. Um, so yeah, and I just thought it's really like compact. So I got, obviously it's a two. So we'll put one on the front and one on the back. And as you can see, it just, sits like that so yeah be interested if you use this if you've got any um like feedback from it please let me know in the comments because at the moment we have nothing other than our ring doorbell um next up i picked up an argan oil um i always like to pop this in our hair again ollie especially because he's got like long hair um and he washes it quite a bit more regular than myself and darcy so this one was three pound it's by the make ogx i think you just say it by the letters um but yeah it's just argan oil of morocco it's just focusing on my face there you go um so this should last us quite a while okay and then next up I'm assuming this all came from different um, distribution centres because it's obviously in different packages. Oh, this is another thing for Clifford. So we also picked him up, I'll just get out the packaging, hold on. Oh, the packaging's ripped. <laughs> so we picked Clifford up a new lead. Um, the one he's got now actually is Rex's, my sister's dog, that he had when he was a puppy. So we haven't yet bought him his own one, just because I knew he was going to grow from when um, we had him. He's actually huge now compared to when he was a puppy. So I got this one. This was £5 something. Um, it was in the Prime Day sale, so it had extra discount. I don't think it's over £10 usually anyway, so I do think it's very good value for money. So this is the handle. As you can see, it's got a lovely cushioning on it. This is super thick, so obviously it's very durable for him. And I just thought this isn't something that's going to like soak up water and it's got a really, really good size. Like, oh, what would you say? Like quite a durable size clip, not like a flimsy one. Because he doesn't pull, he's very good on the lead. But obviously I just need something that's going to stick and stay on when he is on the lead. And I just went with black and um, these are grey actually. They look white, but it has got a reflective that all down so if he's being walked at night this is reflective so if there's any headlights coming anything like that which i thought was really really good um and it also comes with a good old poo bag carrier he's already got one of these but it's handy tool to have more than one so we can fill that up and then this next thing probably isn't for everybody but i got really excited about this so i got another couple of memory cards for my camera so i always get these sandisk ones the 128 gigs they just hold 
so much footage um but having said that the amount of times i'm mid recording and it just it says zero so i'm chatting away and it's not recording anything because my memory card is full so i already have two but i picked up these two because they were 12 pound each usually these are 30 odd pounds so this had a massive saving so i picked up two um just because like i said we're going to be starting the loft and i want to capture lots and lots of footage and we've got loads of exciting things going on next year with my sister's wedding etc so that's that package now we're going into the big box when i say big box it's obviously the biggest one i've got but it's not like huge huge so yeah let's have a little look what we've got in here here's my scissors oh another gift for clifford <laughs> i think he can hear me say his name he's like what why do you keep saying my name on? right so i got him a harness because again he was actually using my mum and dad's dog's harness because the reason being because i know he's going to go through multiple harnesses with obviously how quickly he grows i said to him there's no point in us spending loads of money on harness but um this one here should be fine for now and last him when he's a big boy and he's fully grown so this one again i think this was 10 pounds something this one had a good savings i think it was like 18 to 20 pounds again it's reflective just black and gray and it is super duper sturdy very very um like robust so he is not going to be able to chew through any of this not that he chews very much anyway but obviously i just want something that's going to last him so that's the next thing and then next up i picked up some wireless headphones for ollie because he actually broke the pair that he had while we were on holiday so i said to tom it wasn't like the headphones broke he actually broke them he didn't mean to but he was being a bit rough with them and just literally snapped them so i said to tom i'm not just going to replace them because obviously i want him to realize that um you know there's consequences if you break things um although it was an accident he can obviously wait so it's his birthday in september i literally cannot open this it's his birthday in september and then obviously we have christmas coming up so um yeah i'm starting to plan for that so he will either get these for his birthday or for christmas so they just look like this they come in a lovely bag actually i think these were 14 pounds i meant to be 30 and they fold up really compact like this and then they just open out these are really similar to the pair that he just had um and yeah they fit me so they will definitely fit ollie because he does have a pretty big head bless him um so that's the next thing okay next up is something for penelope for christmas actually because it's too old for her at the moment but i saw this again this was on the front screen um and i knew i wanted to get her something like this for christmas it's like a little tea set but it's interactive but it's from 18 months so i'll pop this away for christmas but this was down to like 10 pounds and some pence so i just thought she would love this and you know darcy had something like this when she was a baby so yeah can't wait till she's making me little cups of coffee and cups of tea and she can bring me a little cake so yeah excited about that and then the last thing is again another christmas present this is for ollie so um if you're new here you won't know but he had a lego lego table for his birthday it's just one that we made ourselves from the ikea range and he's got like sticky um like pads on the top so he can build things um and it's all like sorted out into drawers but it's currently in our storage room downstairs so when he moves into his bigger bedroom it will obviously be set up up there so he can keep it all nice he can have his um like models that he's made all displayed because at the moment he doesn't have anywhere to put them so things keep getting knocked off and yeah he gets quite frustrated but i said to him once your room's done you can have your table there we can put some nice shelves up for you and you can display like what you've made um any of the little sets so like this one because he's got a couple of minecraft ones as well um but again this one was in the prime day set it was 21 pounds i think it was meant to be 36 so it's a good saving because lego is lego honestly lego is so expensive i remember one year my mum and dad got darcy the um harry potter like purple bus and lego my mum couldn't believe how much it was for like a little bus it's like this big she was like are you sure this is right what you've sent me i said yes mum honestly if you ever want to buy the disney castle you're gonna say goodbye to like a fair few hundred pounds um so yeah i just he will love that and can you see it's got like a little drone there with the policeman little handcuffs a quad bike so yeah he's gonna absolutely love this so this is going away for christmas i think for his birthday he's gonna end up getting football and um, bits and pieces because we've got like the world cup and things coming up and the new um team kits are out so he'll end up getting a lot of football stuff so i probably will keep the headphones and the lego 
back for Christmas. But yeah, that is everything that I picked up in the Prime Day sale. As I said, let me know in the comments if you managed to get everything with super duper savings. I would love to know. Hey everybody, good morning. So today is Monday. I hope you've all had a lovely weekend. So I had um, a bit of a break um, from the last clip you saw, which was me showing you what I got in the Amazon Prime Day sale. So that was on Friday. And my plan was to vlog over the weekend, but Penny and Darcy have been really unwell over the weekend. So on Saturday, we had um, a football tournament for Ollie. Um, so we had to leave really, really early. But actually on Friday night, every single one of my children, this has never happened to me, but every single one of my children decided they didn't want to sleep. So Penny was up. Hang on, let me just prop you up and then I'll come back. There we go. Yeah, so Penny, she is just here. She's trying to look in the camera. Let me sit there. She is. Hiya. 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 Um, yeah, so Penny slept until about midnight. Um, and then basically from midnight, it was up until about four. I remember me and Tom were actually just sitting there having a conversation at four in the morning and I was like, who even needs sleep at this point? Darcy was also up. So I picked Darcy up from school on Friday and she came home saying she had a sore throat and she started, she, so in the morning she was fine and she was coughing and it sounded awful. I was like, what has happened? Like during six hours, have you been at school? Um, and yeah, she said she didn't feel well enough to go to ballet so she didn't go to ballet and she spent the, from when I got her home from school, just spent the evening in bed, in our bedroom. <coughs> Dear, and obviously you can hear now, Penny's got a cough. So I've tested them, well I've tested Penny since Wednesday and she is negative. Um, I've been testing Darcy since Friday, she is still negative. Um, so I'm pretty certain it isn't that. Um, I don't know if we picked something up from holiday, from the air conditioning. Um, I just don't know. Um, but yeah, they're both not right. Burning up temperatures. Um, Darcy didn't come to football or anything. She said her legs hurt. I left Penny with my parents because we've been having a heat wave here in the UK. So um, it's, uh, I almost feel a bit ridiculous saying it, but we, when I say we're not used to it, we're genuinely not used to it. I mean, we just, I feel like we're just not built for the like intense heat. And they're saying it's gonna get up to 40 degrees today. Um, plus so we'll see how that goes it's actually clouded over a little bit now so um yeah um but yeah it's just been a bit of a hectic weekend so i haven't picked up the camera just because i felt a bit like i've been just dragged through a bush backwards and i've just been like treading water <laughs> um but yeah i thought i would vlog today so i've got darcy home with me um i haven't got a huge amount planned i know i always say this but um i just thought i would bring you about my day so i'm just giving penny her breakfast and i've got a big old coffee sat here um i got sent this really lovely cleaning package that i'm going to show you in a second it's like all natural um and i am mid doing like a summer clean with me like where we tackle like the jobs that you oh, i don't know that just make you feel more summery so i've like fully blitzed the washing machine but i've done it over a couple of days because i've said this before in my cleaning videos what's wrong um, i love to clean but i just don't have the time to do it in one go anymore um in other news hiya i handed my notice in at work last week um so i'm not going back after the summer holidays because i work in a school so i'm a little bit anxious about that just because that was like a regular wage coming in every month um my reasons for it are i purely just don't have anyone to have pennies so with like me it's only up the road box so i have to like factor me getting there and clocking in etc so it rounds up to about two hours a day um and one of my sisters has said she can help but I mean it would literally be like during her lunch break and then I was thinking like if there's the odd occasion where she does have to go in the office which could happen or she's poorly you know whatever I'm a bit buggered so I just said to Tom it would cost too much in childcare um to get her looked after for two hours a day it would be a lot more than what I bring home a month so yeah I didn't really have any other option than to um have my notice in so i'm now hopefully going to be dedicating all my time to my youtube um so yeah i really appreciate you guys obviously watching my videos because it allows me to keep doing this um and yeah i'm just going to try and get back to my two videos a week i know it's been a bit hit or miss i did get two up last week so that was good um so you all seem to really enjoy my vlog so i just thought i would go back to my like weekly vlogging or weekend vlogging so like try and do like four days 
footage also so it's not too long although when i said on my instagram that i was going to split my holiday vlog up because it'd be really long so many people messaged me and said no the longer the better and i just thought oh i don't know if i'm that sort of person yet like who's interested in watching me for 50 minutes but yeah so i try and keep them around like half an hour if it's a weekly vlog um but yeah i'm gonna have my coffee penny's deciding that she's not gonna eat her porridge at the moment she's because i'm doing i said this before with her like weaning i've been doing a bit of both so like baby led and like purees and me feeding her and i've noticed the last few weeks i just feel like since she's been crawling she's so like independent she, if i try and feed her anything she's like no i am not having that i'm doing it myself so yeah i've just given her one of her little um strawberry and banana melty puffs but i'm gonna try and get the rest of this por porridge in her maybe when it cools down a bit it's not hot but she just prefers it cold i guess i don't know um yeah so i'm gonna go and enjoy my coffee and then i'll pop back on once i finish with penny's wraps i'll pop back on and i'll show you the lovely cleaning little set that i got okay so i'm gonna be using it for my clean today but this is the package um i wanted to share with you so i've kindly been gifted this from a company called purdy and fig um i've recently started following them on instagram um after they reached out to me um to see if i would like to try some of their products so i thought i would try it on camera for the first time i've never used this brand before so let me know in the comments if you have um i'll also link their page um it looks as though they have an offer on their starter kit which is what i've been sent um today um and it's half price so it's from 30 pounds to 15 and the delivery is free so um, i'm just going to show you what comes in the starter kit so all of their packaging is um, eco-friendly and recyclable which is amazing so in the pack you get a purdy and fig um, cleaning cloth so it's like a microfiber cleaning cloth it actually feels really nice so it doesn't have like um, you know some of them are really fluffy and they leave like residue behind this one doesn't feel like that so it doesn't seem like I need to wash this um, before I use it which I do have to do on a lot of other cloths that I've got um, you also get some cute stickers. So it says on here that you can pop the scent on the bottle so you know what scent you're using. Um, you get a bottle for life. So this is just a counter clean. Um, it comes with the sticker on there. So it's a glass bottle um, and it's a multi-surface cleaning um, system that they've sent me. So what you essentially do is you pop um, the oil that you want to pop in there so it's an eco concentrate so it's all derived from natural ingredients there's no nasties in there whatsoever so you decide which scent you want to pop in there um, you get a choice of three and in the little booklet um, that it comes with it actually gives you um, a bit of a description about what the scent contains so I think I'm going to go with the um, balancing floral so this is um, a scent that they are saying is the positive and the comforting one um, an assertive rush of spicy rose notes give way to soft balance floral undertones for a sense of calm positivity and stability yeah so as I was saying I start I had this re-delivered again for the day we got back from holiday so monday and i really enjoyed our meals last week but obviously i didn't vlog last week so i didn't come and show you so i just thought i would show you as always i always have a link in my gus uh, in my description sorry so this isn't sponsored by gusto or anything like that we pay for this every single week um but they always have a refer link for like a user to share so i always pop mine in because it gives you I'm pretty sure 60% off of your first box. So you literally get your first box, which is four meals for two people. Um, but that's what we do. We don't do it for the kids. It's just for myself and Tom. And that's 12 pounds and some pence in total. So like essentially six pounds something each for four meals, bargain. So even if you wanted to try it for a week, it's like an absolute bargain. Like you're gonna save money on your food shopping. Um, and then you get, I'm pretty sure it's 40% off them for the rest of the month, but I'll put on screen here exactly what it is um, and just if you want to try it use the link in the description um, to get the discount but I'm just going to show you so basically it all comes just in a cardboard box everything is recyclable so we just pop this in our um, cardboard recycling um, and it just comes like this um, so in this section um, this is where the um, things that need to be keep kept chilled are so it actually comes with these really handy um, 
like big ice packs and I keep these. Um, I probably won't keep these ones because I've also got four in the fridge. Um, but yeah, you just take this one off and they're all there and there's one at the bottom as well. Um, so that keeps them lovely and cool and so the ingredients stay fresh. And then in this side, you just get everything off. It doesn't need to be kept ice cold, but obviously most of the thing things like this, I do just pop straight in the fridge. So um, this week's meals, um, we have um, tangy lime tofu with sticky ginger rice. I mean, that looks amazing. Um, so all of our meals are vegetarian because um, both myself and Tom are vegetarian, but they have, if you're not a vegetarian, the amount um, of choice that you have, I mean, it's hundreds and hundreds of recipes. We choose from about 47, I think. Um, so it's not as much choice as if you were having meat dishes but uh, if you are having meat dishes you've got a lot more choice um so yeah that's the first one um this one says that it takes a 30 minute prep time um so it tells you what ingredients you need to get out and then just on the back it will give you step by step um, oh, this is a nice easy one. This is only a 10 minute one. So this is chickpea spinach and coconut curry with brown rice. Um, so we've got a couple of rice dishes and then I've gone for a veggie spag bowl. So I've had one of these before, but it had the, um, oh, what do you call it? Like the corn mince, um, which was fine, but I wanted to try it with the lentil. So this one doesn't have the corn mince instead. Um, of the obviously fake meat mince we've got lentils instead which I feel like I would prefer um, that's a 35 minute one so we've got a couple of longer ones oh actually three of them are longer we've had this one before and it is amazing so sweet potato and greek cheese taquitos yeah that's really lovely um a bit of a longer one again 35 minutes but we tend to keep the shorter ones for a football night so when tom has football training with ollie um because he gets in about half past seven so it's just easier for us to get it done so we're not eating really really late but i feel like i'm gonna have this one for tea tonight so um i will try and remember to get my vlog camera out and um vlog cooking it with you so i can show you how easy it is and then i can do a taste test with you i can mix you think so i've been literally been cleaning all afternoon don't ask me why on like the hottest day of the year but oh, where are you <laughs> ollie it did stay in school all day he's a good boy aren't you wow look at this yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe on my mum's YouTube channel. Oh, you're so cute. You are literally the cutest, Olive. Um, right, show me how fast you slide. Right, ready? Go. Woo! Do it again and do a jump in the pool. Oh, hold on, let me get this stick out of the way. I don't want an injury. Go. That is Penny's little pool. I got her from Smith's, but it's on this boat apparently. Loba. Okay, Loba, Loba, Loba. Okay then. That'll count as like cleaning the grass, though, will it not? Loba. Daddy, try to this is like a bit of a poor slip inside, to be honest. I don't, it's on full power and look, look how little the water is. Don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a big fat thumbs up on the YouTube channel. Thanks, Ollie. <laughs> I've just got a bit of lower, lower, lower. Go. Lower. I don't think the plants are lasting very well. They look, oh, my poor Daisy. My luck. They look really my sorry luck. for themselves. This lower. one. I've literally had to deadhead pretty much the whole plant. Is that even going to make it? Oh my goodness, look at them. These don't look too bad. Well, I think this is just a bit too much heat for them. Hiya! Can you say hiya? 
Hiya! <coughs> oh, you're coming, are you? Are you going to show everyone how you can crawl now? Come on, then. Come on. <coughs> Darcy's are sick now, aren't you? <coughs> Clippy, where is it? He's a big boy now, aren't you? Can you show everyone how big you are now? Yeah, Clifford, sit. Oh dear. Good. Dang. We got H first, okay. Dang. Good boy. He's a good boy, isn't he? I made it. We are absolutely melting. Like, melting. Mommy, we just look. put the, um, what? This is what I meant. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, we just put the thermostat from... Could we get off mute, boy? Okay, you can't sell me. Okay. Um, yeah, we put the thermostat from inside out here and it's saying it's 43 degrees. Like, that's insane. So we're, we're just sitting at the end of the garden because the sun isn't on this bit. If you, This is what I was saying um, about... So that is our bedroom there. So the way our house is, the sun is on it from like midday until sunset. So I'm kind of dreading the loft. We're definitely going to need to invest in an AC unit of some description. Um, yeah. Oh, did she splash? Sister, she doesn't want to be splashed. No more splashing, she said. Say no more splashing. Can you see her hair there? She's been on Clifford. She's been on. Oh no! Come and see Mama. Come on. Come and see Mum. Ready? Come here. Well, she doesn't want to be splashy, do you? You don't want to. Can you say hiya? Can you say hiya? Okay, okay, Cliffy. You're so hot and bothered as well, aren't you? Hiya. She's got an ant on her head. Ew. Put an ant on your head. She's food on her head. Yeah, she needs another bath. But yeah, her hair, where she's been, can you see that sticking out there? She's got bed head. She's just had an me. ice cold, like semi frozen carrot to chew on, so he's. He's loving that. He's gonna. He's going to the pool. I don't think you want to drink You're not that. going in there, boy. That's so annoying. How it just goes on the grass. No. Yeah. Look, this is what I'm saying. Is I don't know if it's our hose or not, but <coughs> I want it can to you be see like the water? This. It, it needs to be more pressure so it goes like that. But instead, it's like this. <laughs> you barely can see it. <coughs> Excuse me. Ready? Yeah. Oh, she went in. Oh dear. Hello, Penelope. Hiya. Ready, sit there. And then, Mummy, oh, got Ant on you again. Ready. Hiya. Say hiya. Hiya. She's all hot and bothered. I think everyone is. Oh, we've got to cook tea now. You know when you just really don't want to cook tea? I feel so sad for Penny. Why? She didn't have a poor pool. Oh, yeah, Ollie. Oh. Ollie literally just popped the canopy bit, so now I need to buy her another one because it cannot be repaired. So that's just annoying. You right, Cliffy boy? Yeah? You okay? He said I'm hot, Mum. Look how big he is. I cannot believe how big he is. Water. But he's going in. What is it? It's so cold. Oh, <laughs> what is it? Go and see. Cliffy. Cliffy, look, go see. Whoa. Cliffy. Oh my God. He jumps over it. <laughs> okay then. <coughs> What have you got, Clifford? That is not yours, thank you. 
Look, what's this? That's yours. Are you having fun? Are you having so much fun? You are. Oh, you're coming for the cat. Here she goes. Come on then. Come on. Come on then, darling. I found this. Oh. <coughs> Hi, guys. Good morning. Happy Tuesday. How did you all sleep during the heat wave? Hopefully it's cooler when you're watching this because it should go up on Friday. Um, but yeah, my bedroom was registering at 33 all night. So it was interesting. Um, I'm slightly worried about when we do the loft because that scares me. Um, but yeah, <laughs> definitely gonna need to invest in an air conditioning unit. Um, I'm just about to get ready to take Clifford to the vets um, because he's going around to um, be put on this new like flea and worming treatment um so i'm interested to see what he weighs the last time he went i think he was 12 kilos um but i'm gonna need to drive around in the car because it's too hot um because it's tuesday obviously when i'm filming this so we're right smack bang in the middle of the heat wave so he needs to go in the car where there's air conditioning um and yeah so guess is before i get back what he weighs 12 stone. 12 stone? No, they do it in kilos. Oh, uh, 24 kilos. Oh, I don't think he's that big. I think about 15. I reckon about 16. 18. 18. <laughs> oh, and Penny go No, gentle to doggy. She's so rough. Come here. Come here. Oh, there she is. So she, just to excuse her face, because she's a bit of a snot ball this morning, bless her. She's still got her temperature. So she's just sat in the shade over here. So yeah, we'll be obviously inside in a little bit when the sun comes more around this way. Cause this, can you see the deck is in the shade and then the bottom of the garden is in full sun. And then what happens is as the sun moves more around here, then the whole house is um, covered in sun. Can you say, hiya, hiya. Oh, she spotted a butterfly. We've got so many butterflies coming in. So many white butterflies coming in the garden. I'm really, really feeling for my plants. I don't know how they are doing. It looks as though they haven't made it, but. Hiya. Hiya. You're so cheeky, aren't you? So yeah, I'm gonna go and get Clifford all ready to go and then I'll be back to tell you a weight update when we're back. In the way you move. 